if your Facebook feed is filled with people saying, don't accept the friend request from me, it wasn't me, I wanna send you another one, all that kind of stuff, you know who's doing that. This video is gonna be something that you're gonna to wanna to share with them because it's gonna help them not have to say that anymore. And it's gonna save your Facebook feed from seeing so many of those messages. I know I'm sick of seeing them. And there's two things that you can do to help reduce those kind of potential issues. One is to stop taking those Facebook surveys that you see all these links to, you know, all this kind of stuff that just asks you all kinds of questions. One is filled with potential hackers and, and then it could also be information that someone could use against you for those secret questions for security purposes. You know, those answers that you have to make for your bank statements and all kinds of stuff like that. And then the second tip is to turn on two-factor authorization. This is for Facebook. I'm gonna show you how to do it on Facebook, but you should do this for all your social media and even pretty much all your accounts. If you have that option, turn it on because it's going to take your security level to the next level so that way it just decreases the chances of your accounts getting hacked so let's go ahead and dive in i'm going to show you on my phone it's really simple to do you can do this on your phone too pause the video at the different steps if you have to and get this done you'll thank me later I'll also share this video so that way you know those particular people that's on your friends list that continuously get hacked will hopefully not get hacked anymore if they do this. Okay, so I've got an iPhone here and you got pretty much the same kind of principles even on your Android devices. Just go to your Facebook app, you're gonna go to your app settings. So on the iPhone, you're gonna scroll all the way down to settings and privacy. Go to your settings. Scroll on down to security and login. And then you're going to see down on the third page area, you're going to see two-factor authorization. You're going to go to that tab. And you got a toggle for on and off. So turn that on. And you also have added security to where they will text you a code to your personal phone number. You also have an option for authentication app, recovery codes. At least turn on that two-factor and you'll be good to go. And you'll thank me later. I hope that these tips were helpful and easy to follow. I had a couple of people ask me how to turn on that two-factor authorization, so I went ahead and just made a video about it so that way I could just post a link and share it with you guys. And I appreciate it if you would share it with your Facebook feed as well. I hope that it helps free up your feed of people who constantly say, don't accept my friend request, I've been hacked. <sighs> All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Also, subscribe to the channel. I got more videos like this coming out and this is just a really quick and easy one. I shot this all on my iPhone 10s Max and edited it on my phone too. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I didn't even use my fancy computer over here that I just got done editing a professional video with. Decided to go with my iPhone and I'm using a new selfie stick kind of thing to hold my phone. So yeah, fun times. <laughs> all right, it's way too late. I'm going to edit this now and publish it.